Hello everyone, I am Josh and welcome to this Sims 3 house building video. So I am back building a house here in Sunset Valley and this home is going to be a beach house. Um, and I kind of intend to make this a mini series of like three beach houses. Uh, if you know Sunset, well, you hopefully you know Sunset Valley, uh, there's three rectangular, rectangular lots um, right along the beach and they all have houses on them normally, but I demolished them, and this is the first of three that I'm building. I've already started the second house, and I'm just really late to recording this voiceover because I had a cold uh, again. Um, I don't know, it was like during the last couple weeks? Um, well, I'm getting better now, but if I do cough during this video, that's why. So I just sounded really awful, so I couldn't record a video, and then I've been really uh, tired from school, so. I didn't really have time to record anything, but I'm here now recording this video. So this home is uh, rather large. It's a, well, you probably noticed, it's a very long house build. It's 48 minutes and 50 some seconds, so we'll call it 49 minutes. Normally I would split a build uh, by the time it gets this long, but it, I just, I hate making two part house builds, so I, I decided to go for the full 49 minute building video. So. Hopefully you're settled in and prepared for a long video, or maybe you'll just leave after a few minutes, so who knows. Anyway, uh, unfortunately the next uh, building video, um, the house next door to this one, will be two parts, because I've already recorded the entire building of the house, and I haven't even gotten to furnishing yet, and I already have like 35 minutes of sped up footage. So uh, that one's definitely going to be a two-parter. So can't help it with that one. But this one uh, didn't take as long. I, I, the other one, I, I know I'm like talking about a house I'm not even building right now, but I'll just say the next house, I'm very indecisive with it, but I'm sure when I get to actually finishing that house video, I'll uh, explain all of it then. But for, <laughs> for this house, it's um, pretty big. It's four bedrooms and I don't even know, four bathrooms maybe? I don't know. I built this house like a few weeks ago at the time of this recording. Well, I started this house build like a month ago by the time I'm recording this. Like this, what you're watching now, I did like a month from like before I'm actually recording this. And I finished the house like maybe a week ago from when I'm recording this. So, you know, uh, if I don't remember or don't recall what I'm doing, that's why. So you can see here I'm working out a roof. Uh, the roof looks a bit messy now, but in the end I end up having an attic at the very top, so it kind of adds a bit of extra space. I make it an office, so it's kind of neat. And you also have a couple turrets as well, so there's the front turret and also a side turret. Uh, this house isn't particularly realistic because I did put in a basement, so you'll see the driveway kind of goes uh, down and, you know, around the corner there. A house this close to the beach would not have a basement of any kind, but you know, I, I like to have my garages that kind of like go down under the house, so I couldn't help myself. So, yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, there was a cough. I, I do apologize. That may happen. Uh, at least I don't have the stuffy nose. Like in the last Sims 3 house build, I had the stuffy nose, and that was actually worse because my voice sounded all wrong. I don't even know if my voice sounds normal or not. I guess you'll probably tell me if I sound like I'm dying. Uh, but the cough may happen. Anyway. You can see here we're almost done with the roofs, which is exciting, and, you know, there's a bunch of stuff. It's kind of crazy that this house's roofing is a, is a mess, although it's well, not a mess, it's just complicated. The next house is going to be even more complicated, so if you think this is complicated, wait till you see the next house build. It's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, so you can see here, got a nice little front balcony and a little bit of a side balcony. There's a lot of balconies on this house, actually, especially, especially on the first floor and uh, putting in the top of the chimneys as well. And uh, just, uh, you know, gonna perhaps put some windows in. I don't even know, I don't know. I mean, I, as I said, I did this a while ago, so um, my guess is as good as yours when it comes to predicting what's gonna happen. I just took a sip of water there to prevent myself from coughing again. Uh, here, I'm just uh, editing the terrain a bit. Uh, I do settle with that gray roof, which I thought was quite interesting, so pleased with that choice. And here I'm smoothing out the terrain. I did raise the house up because I I like having these beach houses raised up a bit. I don't know why. I think it looks nice. So ended up doing that. And um, let's see here. Yes. So here's the basement. So just kind of flattening out the ground, putting in some walls, 
And I'm uh, going to remove the floor in the usual way. It's how it's done. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. There you go. Beautiful. So, yeah, the basement has a garage, a bathroom, and a laundry room. So, not huge, but it does have a nice bit of space. And it's a place I guess your Sims can put their car. Anyway, putting in the doors here, including the garage door, of course. And, um, yeah, this house's floor plan is a little weird when you'll see... Uh, which you'll see when we get to it. Uh, I'm sure it's probably gonna. We're gonna do the floor plan pretty soon. It's uh, mainly the first floor that's a little weird because of the dining room, and you'll see. You know, so it. Again, with my houses, I build them in very much a uh, way. Let me rephrase that. I, I build them from the outside in. So it's kind of a weird shaped house, and the interior shows that, but it's alright. It turns out really well. I love the way this house turns out. I'm very happy with it in the end. It's kind of cozy. It's not like too much of a beach house, but it does suit, you know, it is, it does look good across from the beach, but from the inside, it's not like it could go anywhere in the world. It's not necessarily like super beachy or anything, but it does fit in well where it is. Uh, right here, I'm putting in some windows, of course. So we got some nice large arched windows there on the bay window section, and also putting in some windows around the rest of the house. Of course, some sliding doors. There's plenty of light, you know, should be coming into this house, I guess, you know, looks pretty nice. Uh, also got some nice stone on the house as well, which you'll see, and the siding will be coming in soon. It's going to be like a orangish reddish color, like a pinkish orangish reddish color. You can see it here. It's like, well, I don't know. I call this house Pomegranate Paradise, and a theme I'm going with these three houses, each one's going to be named after a fruit. So this one's Pomegranate Paradise. I don't know. I thought, well, it's Pomegranate. I guess Pomegranate's a fruit. Yeah. What else would it be? Uh, yeah, so... I thought it was kind of cool. I, I like the I, I like the name. It's alliteration, you know. Pomegranate Paradise got the two P's in there. I thought it sounded nice. So yeah, that's what I decided to do. So you can see here, putting in the siding. Uh, I love the color actually. It does look really nice. I think I change it though. I, I do adjust it. There we go. I'm making it a bit more red and less orange, but it is pretty much the same color. You probably can't even tell I'm changing it all. But anyway, it's a really nice. <coughs> oh no, it's a really nice color. Um, yeah, so putting that around the place, I uh, guess getting that, uh, you know, just on all the surfaces, I suppose, I don't know. Looks nice. I actually quite like the color with the roof. I think they go well together. It might seem a little odd to have, I don't know, like orangey red mixed with like a light gray, but it all, it all goes well together, especially with the stone and once the landscaping comes in, it all works out pretty well. So you can see here, putting that around the house. And I was going to change the roof color, but I decided against it. And here I'm going to change all of the railings and stuff to white so it looks nice and not all mismatched because that doesn't look so good. And also changing all the colors of the windows so they all match as well. You know, always good if your window colors match. And um, yeah, what are we doing upstairs here? Just adjusting the roof pieces and getting in, I don't know what, who knows what's going on. I also should disclose that I'm recording this not super late at night, but kind of late, and I'm tired, so if I just, like, sound disinterested or just weird, <laughs> I don't know. That could be why. Um, yeah, also putting in some more colors. I did put in a fence, which you probably noticed. Um, you know, nice little fenced-in backyard. Some more columns and just a door down here, which is lovely. Beautiful door. It's not in there yet, but it will be soon. Oh, yeah, I was looking at the whatever you call those things, the porch. Ah, yes, the screen porch things. I'm gonna cough again, I'm sorry. Let me get a drink of water. My gosh, this is a professional voiceover. Ah, as they all are. Anyhow, it's either sick me. I'm not really sick though, I don't know why. Like, I wasn't coughing at all today, and now all of a sudden, like I'm I'm gonna record a video, and then it's like, you're, my body's like, oh no, you're not. So, <laughs> gosh. Oh well, or right, maybe it's because I haven't talked like this much all day. Well, like I've talked, but I mean I haven't, <laughs> I haven't like talked this much continuously. So maybe that's why I didn't know that my throat was gonna protest me. Oh well. Um, so putting in more windows, and oh, not that one, I guess. Who knows? I guess I'm gonna change. I think I change it back. No, maybe I don't. I can't remember what I do. I put those in. I think I leave those in. Yeah, I suppose that's what happens. Putting those around the place as well. Uh, on the side there, got that beautiful arched window around the side and back. Stunning, I guess. And some more windows around the house. You know, gotta get that light 
into the rooms, I suppose. Yep. Oh yeah, I use these windows from Island Paradise that have like the little shutters on them. They kind of look kind of uh, beachy, I guess. And that was also that was a fabulous sentence right there, top notch. Anyway, um, there's those nice kind of windows that kind of give that beachy vibe, and also putting in some more lovely arched windows as well. Uh, down here, uh, putting in the stairs so you can Sims can actually walk to the basement, which is always convenient. I was going to put in a spiral staircase, but that wasn't going to work, so well, I guess I could have made it work, but I didn't feel like it, so, you know. I really actually- <coughs> oh gosh. Again, I apologize. I really like the staircase solution I came to. It was quite wonderful. Uh, so you can see here I have these stairs that go up and then like around. It's, I don't know. It, it looks nice to me, like the way they're like right next to each other. I guess I could have stacked them, but whatever. I like the way it looks, because like you have like a little- area by those arched windows where like you have you're standing there and you can go either up or down and the stairs are like right next to each other i don't know it's just nice anyhow the kitchen is at the back of the house here i uh yeah here you can see the weird floor plan so like you walk in and you have your entrance then you have like a little sitting room and then to get to the living room you have to go through the dining room which is kind of weird you know the dining room kind of acts as a hallway in a way uh, and also use the weird way twice in that sentence but yeah it kind of acts as the hallway, which is a little odd, but it looks nice, so I suppose it's fine. And it's The Sims, I mean, who really cares anyway? It doesn't need to be exactly true to life. This here is the master bedroom and bathroom. Uh, there are four bedrooms, all on one level. There's two kids' rooms, a, a, a guest room, and a master bedroom. Also, I put a ladder up to the third floor, so your Sims will have to climb a ladder to get to the study. So, that's a thing. Anyhow, here you can see I am putting in some more doors, which are lovely. Gotta get those in there. Also, I'm using the word lovely a lot. I don't know why. I don't think I've ever done that before. Who knows why that's happening. I'll try to mix it up a little bit. Putting in some interesting doors, I guess. Uh, even though they're not interesting, but, you know, they're doors, I guess. They're white doors. They're so fascinating. Wonderful doors. Anyway, <laughs> putting in some... Oh my gosh. My... <coughs> Don't mind me. Uh, putting in some palm trees. Oh joy, gotta get those palm trees in there. You know, gotta make it look like it belongs at the beach. Beautiful. Also some leafy palm thingamagummies, I don't know. Gotta get the flowering tree in there as well. Gotta get all the, all the nature stuffs. Anyway, here's the driveway. So I'm using the constraint floor elevation sheet to get a nice perfect slope down to the, you know, l the garage level. So. Yeah, I redo it a couple times because it's not in the right spot the first times, but it's okay. So you can see here, uh, yeah, there I go, I start over again. But it uh, looks pretty good. It's a very nice sloped driveway. You can see I'm doing it here. Uh, it's, it's, it's quite fabulous. So there you go, getting that in there. And uh, there's also a door, you can see. I was talking about the door earlier. The, that door leads to the laundry room, so it's kind of it's a nice little side door there. I also put in a little light here, which I'm... This kind of lowering down these walls, again, with constraint floor elevation. It's a lovely, lovely thing that The Sims 4 doesn't have. <clears throat> anyway, uh, putting in the, uh, the the driveway here, the lovely pavers. With, oh, gosh darn, I used the word lovely again. Jeez, what is with me today? Um, the, the, the gray pavers. Uh, you can see them. And also a parking spot with a car in it. Uh, I went with a Ford Focus, because why not? So, I also think I'll make it gray, if I remember correctly. We'll see. Uh, right now it's red. Anyway, putting in the same pavers in the garage, there's a second car in the garage, so you can see this house holds two cars. I guess you could put a third one somewhere, I don't know where, but you could probably figure it out. And, uh, oh yes, I like this rock wall here, which is uh, bridging the retaining wall with the house, and you can see it just got some nice rocks in there. I put some plants in as well. It looks pretty nice. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Beautiful. And uh, just getting a bit of dirt. Ah, there we go. I do change the car to gray. See? Called it. Anyway, um, what am I doing here? I think I do um, all the landscaping before I move the interior, so you'll see that'll all get done. Uh, hopefully pretty quickly. How long are we in here? We're already 14 and a half minutes in. Would you look at that? So that means we have, oh gosh. It's like <laughs> my um, cough is like, when I laugh, it's like my body's like, oh wait, do you mean you want to cough? I'm like, no, I want to laugh, not cough. So my, <laughs> oh gosh, my, um, my laughs are kind of like half laughs, half coughs. You can't tell which, it's a mystery. Anyway, it's like a laugh that turns into a cough. But, um, I'm sure. Maybe for the next house build, I'll be fully recovered and I won't be coughing. That'll be hope, that ho hopefully. Um, 
I don't know what it was. Like, I had an awful sore throat. It's really bad. Um, I went through tons of throat lozenges with that cold. It's... The only reason I keep getting sick is I'm not getting enough sleep, and I know that. But uh, I'll work on that, I guess. And then I won't have to postpone videos because my throat hurts. I don't know. My throat doesn't hurt now. It's just... I'm just, like, coughing. Um, but I don't have a sore throat anymore, which is good. Because I sounded, like, a week ago, I sounded awful. Like, my... I just sounded really sick, and now I don't, so that's good, because no one wants to listen to someone who sounds sick, although I hope that you're not, like, horrified by the coughing and don't want to watch the video because I'm coughing, but anyway, I'll, I'll try to keep it to a minimum, the best I can. I'll just try not to laugh because that causes coughing, so I'll just be very boring and speak in a monotone voice. This is actually working very well. As you can see here, I'm putting in... Uh, some flowers. Okay, I'll stop that because that's really awful. Anyhow, you can see, oh no, here it comes again. <clears throat> no laughing. <clears throat> anyway, oh gosh, putting in a pavers there and some uh, my favorite bushes. So I have the lovely bushes from Supernatural there I'm quite a fan of. And putting in some flowers and some other bushes and rocks and various plant life that kind of make it look nice, you know? Gotta get all of that in there and also putting in um, a fireplace because that's cool. This is the kitchen, by the way. Uh, there's also a fireplace in the living room. And I believe that's it. Yeah, just two fireplaces. No, mm, yeah, just two fireplaces. Um, the other house has a fireplace in the master bedroom, but this one does not. I was going to put a fireplace in the attic slash study. It's not really an attic. The study but I decided because I decided against it because the pipe was ugly, so I was like, nah. Anyhow, um, now we're done with landscaping, I believe. Looks quite nice, as you can see. I'm very happy with the way it looks. I think it looks quite stunning. Um, so here you can see, putting in some terrain paint. Again, terrain paint is essential. Cannot stress enough how important that is. You just have to have your light brushing of dirt, and it, it, it really makes a difference. It, it actually makes it look a lot more realistic. So just putting that in, um, under all the walls and stuff, just around the place, under the porches as well. So if you're looking at the basement view, it looks nice and neat, as it should. And uh, changing the railing colors, of course, gotta get the stair color in, make sure it all matches and looks nice. And yeah, I'm just basically doing touches up, touches up, I'm basically touching up the landscaping here and making sure it all looks good and nice. And the whole outside of the house, basically, before I move to the inside, and you can see here, uh, a lot of time is spent on furnishing because we're about 18 minutes in and we're still, well actually no, we're almost on building. So like the other half hour is furnishing <laughs> or interior work. So that's where a lot of the time goes. Anyway, uh, here I'm beginning on the interior. I got these lovely marble tiles, which I quite like. And I'm also putting in uh, just some basic furnishings in the entrance there. This is the sitting room, which has a piano in it, which I thought was quite fancy. I did share some pictures of the interior of this house on Twitter. If you follow me on Twitter, which you should, there's a link in the description below. Uh, I do sometimes, if I remember, or if I feel like it, I'll post pictures of like what I'm working on. I posted pictures of this house because I have been so far behind I actually getting this out. So yeah. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, I'll have my shameless plug link in the description below. Also, Instagram is floating down there, too. So, you can check those out. That would be very nice. Anyhow, this is the uh, bedroom areas. I'm just putting beds in to make sure these rooms actually can fit beds. Because sometimes that can be a problem. Uh, so, yeah. Also, this is the kitchen here with the beautiful marble flooring. And a fireplace, which is unusual. You usually don't see fireplaces in kitchens, but I thought it looked nice. This kitchen also has a huge uh, island, as you'll see here. I'm putting that in. A uh, very nice large island, which goes right in the center of the room. Nothing on it. Well, uh, I think I put some uh, either fruit or plants on it, but not, not like a sink. I mean, you can't put sinks and islands in The Sims 3, so it's just a nice island with a... I do not make a green countertop, I don't think. That looks kind of awful. I will change that, because I know I go with a red backsplash, so i definitely change that countertop. Uh, here I'm just messing with it a bit more, because it's a little all, all wonky. Uh, <coughs> oh, there comes the cough again. Ah, a little nefarious bugger. Anyway, um, yeah, there's the stools, which look nice, I guess. Those are from Island Paradise, so they kind of fit in well. I need to get another sip of water. Do excuse me. 
Oh, that's better. Yes, hopefully I can make it through another, what is this? Jeez. 20 minutes. I'm actually really afraid that the coughs are gonna be really loud because like they're peaking the microphone. Gosh, if I have to redo this voiceover, I'm not gonna be happy. I might have to though, who knows? Who knows, maybe you won't even be listening to this because it'll have just be redone because the coughing will just have ruined it completely. Who knows? Anyway, <laughs> I did change the countertop in the kitchen there, which you can see. It's very nice. And I'm also putting in all the appliance colors as well. Gotta make sure those look good. And uh, got the burglar alarms in there, so your uh, thieves, not your thieves, but so some thieves don't just like slip in and steal your sim stuff, you know? Gotta, gotta make sure the house is well protected. Also, I'm putting in some lighting, of course. Always good to have lighting. And... Uh, pl plenty of detail items will be coming in, of course. Ah, putting in some nice um, paint. Oh, those are the tile, actually. Yes, that is the tile for the kitchen, which is kind of red and orange and taupe, beige-ish color, I guess. A variety of tile colors in there, just to make it look nice. Uh, well, some of the kitchen walls are like a light gray as well, or like an off-white, which looks really nice. It's very classy, as you can see. And I'm just gonna put that around the place, uh, just paint up the walls in the house, get some flooring in, just kind of make it look all nice and jolly. Uh, putting in the curtains here, gotta get some curtains in the kitchen, and I also have some shelves there by the windows, which I don't know how realistic that is, if those windows would actually be able to hold up those shelves, but it looks nice. Also, I discovered these plates have dogs, and since dogs are so much better than cats, I just had to put the dog plates in. Um, so that's what I ended up doing. <clears throat> Yes. So, putting in the details here, got the knives, um, and some tissues, and some paper towels, and a little piggy, of course, and some towel, a, well, a towel, so your sims can dry their hands off, obviously, they don't do that, but it's okay. And some various other items, and I'm, oh gosh, I'm pressing there. This video is just going to be me talking about coughing. Gosh, I hate colds. I don't even feel sick. What is with this? Why is my body doing this to me? It's so unfair. Ugh, gosh. I mean, this just, <laughs> I really hope I don't have to throw this video out because I'll be so annoyed. <clears throat> oh dear. Um, yeah, so the kitchen, uh, on another subject, the kitchen's almost done. Isn't that great? You can see the interesting mat I chose. I didn't even know that pattern existed, but apparently it does, and there I am using it. Wow, so exciting. Uh, I got those red, oops, sorry, I just made noise <laughs> with what I'm holding. I like to hold things when I record, I don't know. I just like like to have something in my hands because otherwise, I don't know, I'd like bite my nails or something. I can't bite my nails when I'm recording a video, obviously, but I like to have something in my hands because it, it's, I don't know, it's better that way. Anyway, um, <laughs> I am uh, I'm putting in some chairs in the dining room. Uh, very nice large leather chairs, and you also have that uh, interesting wallpaper. I think it looks nice though. I, I was kind of trying to go with the red theme because the outside of the house is kind of a reddish color, so I have the red tiles in the kitchen, and I thought having a nice kind of red color scheme in the dining room would be nice. Uh, the living room does not have a red color scheme, but that's all right. And uh, here I'm just putting in the furniture. It's a very classy room. I like it a lot. I like the colors a lot. Um, the kind of chair color looks nice, and the the rug and just everything about the room it just looks really classy. I'm very happy with it. It's very, very nice. And um, here I'm just putting in some lighting, which is good, and a bit of a lamp there, and a bit of a side table, and a bit of a chair, you know, gotta get all the amenities in the room, I guess. Not really amenities, but all the nice details, of course. And I'm also putting in, oh, well, I will put in a painting, and uh, gotta color that side table appropriately. Should look nice. And some curtains, of course, gotta put those in. Uh, you know, just detailing the coloring there. And um, yeah, it all it all came together quite nicely. I do like the dining room. It just, the floor plan's a little weird, but the dining room looks nice, so that's what matters. And it's not a big deal. Just traditionally, you'd have like, um, the living room would not be like attached to the dining room in this way. Like they're attached, but you wouldn't usually have to go through the dining room to get to the living room. It'd be Maybe the other way around. You have to go through the living room to the dining room, but that's okay. Anyway, um, also I love that clock. The uh, teapot clock, I think is quite nice. And I think it's a store item, and I never use it, or might not be a store item, I don't know. But it is a nice item, so I decided to use it. 
Um, also a teapot kettle thing, not a teapot. No, no, it is a, it's a mug, not a mug, a vase, that's the best word. Oh, there's the yellow horse, gotta have the yellow horse. Yellow horse is in the house, no worries. And uh, here I'm just putting in the grandfather clock, you can see, looks very nice. Uh, and the curtains here, this is the living room. Um, <coughs> the living room has a kind of a greenish color scheme, I think. We'll see. Yeah, it looks, oh wait, maybe not. Hmm, what's happening here? Hmm, I don't know what color you describe that as. It is kind of more green than anything else. Maybe grayish. It's like an off green, if you could call it that. The curtains are kind of greenish. It looks nice, though. Um, you don't really want to have green and red together a lot of times, but since they're kind of off shades of green and red, it looks pretty good. No, they're very subtle colors, which I think is nice. It's very sophisticated, which is the idea, obviously. And here I'm just putting in uh, the furniture. Gotta have the lovely coffee tables and the couches, very comfortable looking couches. And your fireplace and your, also a nice door that leads out to the uh, back deck there. The only unfortunate thing is this house goes right up against the road, so these windows from the living room look right out to a road, but it's all right. <laughs> <clears throat> nothing to hear here, or I guess I would say nothing to see here, but since it's, you're not seeing me, you're just hearing me. Nothing to hear here, just, just a little cough. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> I don't know what that was. Anyway, you can tell I'm tired. Anyway, just putting in some more furniture. I got some nice bookshelves and things like that. And it is, ooh, it's, it's past 10 o'clock now. That's exciting. Just to you know it's 10, 10 p.m., which on a school night, I probably should be going to bed in like an hour or so. I don't know. That would be ideal anyway. So you can see here, getting in some lovely bits of furniture, some nice mirrors, plants, um, some columns. I don't know if I keep those columns by the door or not, but it looks, it looks, it is a nice idea anyway, if I don't do it. I think I do keep them there. It just looks kind of nice. So, um, just putting in a bit of a painting and a few details here and there around the room just to make sure it looks top notch, because of course that's important. It should look as good as possible. So, uh, you know, getting a little bit of a fishbowl in there and a bit of a wheel up there on the second floor. Also some magazines and things of that nature. So, I guess we're starting now on the sitting room, which has, uh, you know, stuff in it. Um, it has a piano, which I mentioned before. It has this kind of nice diamond patterned wallpaper, which is not red or green. It's kind of neutral colored. And got these interesting curtains that don't quite fit the windows, but they look all right, so I decided uh, it'll be okay. And here I'm just putting it, oh, I love this. I put this door up here, which you can see, and I made it color to the house, so it doesn't look like it's there, but it's there. Very sneaky of me, you can see. It actually blends in really well, and I was quite pleased with that. Because uh, I didn't want like a door like visibly there, so I thought just like paint it over in the same color as the house, and no one will notice. It worked pretty well. Anyway, here I'm putting in some lighting uh, in the living room, uh, not living room, sorry, sitting room, the entrance coloring the stairs, so they kind of match the house and uh, getting in the appropriate flooring in the upstairs and downstairs areas. And yeah, it's a very basic sitting room. Again, if you follow me on Twitter, hint, hint, you would have seen uh, this room already. You would have also seen the kitchen, I believe, and the living room. So, you know, the, that stuff's on Twitter, hint, hint. Anyhow, um, this is the uh, living, sitting, <laughs> I'm calling this a living room. This is the sitting room. You can see here, uh, you have those lovely chairs, uh, which kind of have this yellowish color to them. I don't know, very interesting. And also these uh, bookshelves there as well, so your sims can do a bit of a light reading or some de um, deep reading? I don't know what you call it. Deep reading? I don't know. They can do that too if they want. Or, yeah, stuff like that. Anyhow, um, getting in some plants and stuff. A bit more plants, a few more plants, look at that. And some details here on this side table by the front door. Also a coffee table here for these chairs, so that's nice. And a bit of a painting, not painting, pictures on that side table. Some oars as well for some, de 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 for some uh, detail. And um, some rugs. Yay! Gotta get those rugs in. You know, gotta get those floor mats in as well. Creative style lagging as it usually does, but gotta love creative style. And um, putting in a nice wicker mat by the door. I love the wicker patterns. They're so good. Uh, yeah, so 
you know, I mean, I think one major culprit for the length of my Sims 3 builds is creative style. Jeez, does it slow things down. But it also makes things look really nice, so I can't help myself. I just, just, you know, you need, it just needs creative style. It's just, it just adds that nice bit of matchy, matchiness to the house. Everything kind of fits together nicely, you know, gotta have that bit of detail. Anyhow, uh, that's the upstairs area, the uh, study area. There's also a bathroom up there, so I guess, you know, if your sims are hard at work and they don't have to go down a ladder to go to the bathroom, there is a conveniently located third floor bathroom. You can see, I think, three things. Very, very well planned out house here. Uh, putting in the curtains uh, and the landing here, it's a pretty simple landing hallway situation. Uh, you have a runner, you have a ladder, because <laughs> that's, everyone has a ladder, you know, in their hallway. And you have, <coughs> <clears throat> have this musical device that plays songs. It looks very old fashioned. And record player? I don't know if it's a record player or what the heck that thing is. Anyway, um, there you have your uh, landing slash hallway situation. Very nice. Uh, you also have a bathroom up here. This is just a bathroom. It's the hall bathroom. So your Sims can use this if they're, you know, not the owners of the house. I guess the owners of the house wouldn't use this because they just use the master bathroom because, you know, it's fancier. Uh, anyway, this is the guest bathroom, we'll call it. A pretty simple room. It has tub-shower combination, which I don't know if that's usable because of the cabinet there. Who knows? That's a question for someone else to find out. Because I can't be bothered to actually play test these, this house. Um, <laughs> I can't take deep breaths. Jeez. Try to, like, take a deep breath. <gasps> I really regret doing that. I'm so sorry. Really sorry. That was 32 minutes in. I, I'll quiet that one down because that was a loud cough. So sorry. If you're wearing earphones, which you shouldn't be with this video because unpredictable coughs could occur at any time, that would really probably not be pleasant. Anyhow, gosh, if I have to throw this voiceover out because of the coughing, I will be not happy. But I may, I may, may not. Who knows? It's, it's a mystery. We'll never know. Well, we will know, but not at this moment. We don't know. Anyhow. <laughs> That, that hallway is done. Right now I'm doing the basement because why not? So this is the laundry room area which has uh, a sink and a couple machines in there. Well, a washer and a dryer as you expect. You know, what else would be in there? And um, yeah, stuff of that nature, you know. Uh, things that you tend to find in a laundry room. Gotta have your medicine cabinet as well because that makes sense. And some towels. Neatly folded, hopefully clean towels. And... Yeah, there you go. And also with some uh, towels for drying your hands off and some just stuff on the floor because everyone just leaves their stuff on the floor, you know. Everyone's a slob at heart. And putting in, uh, you know, other things and thingamagummies just around the place. And also I'm putting in this uh, little ottoman thing. So I guess your sims can sit in this depressing windowless hallway if they want to. Don't know why they'd want to do that, but it's there for their enjoyment. Beautiful. And uh, this is a uh, bathroom down here. It's a full bathroom. Also, I accidentally hit F1 there, which I sometimes do instead of hitting escape. Oh, well. This bathroom, um, it's pretty big. It's actually the biggest bathroom in the house because there's just a lot of space down here. It uh, has a sink, toilet, and a shower. Very simple, as you can see here. And I, I quite like it. I think it turned out well. It's, it's very nice. It's a nice bathroom, you know? Very nice, I guess. The house is nice in general. Um, yeah, there you go. Bathroom done. Wow, oh no, it's not at all done. So wrong, very off. Forgot the rug and the details. Whoops! Should, shouldn't have called it that soon. Um, I do like the pattern on that rug, though. That is very nice. Yeah, there we go. There's the details. Coming in right now. Gotta get that toilet paper, you know, and the, and the, and the soap. And the other towels. And the weird wall decoration. Because that's necessary. Uh, this here is the garage. Very simple room. Uh, you have a wood paneling situation going on, and this weird little nook that exists at the back of the room, which has just some tools and stuff in it. Um, the, the right angle that the car has to go around is very dangerous there. Just don't want to scrape the stone wall when you're coming into the garage. <laughs> yeah, my uh, driveways don't tend to be very realistic, but that's okay. You know, just have to do like a bit of a maneuver there. Actually, maybe a car could kind of 
I don't know how hard it would be to get around that corner because it is very sharp. But then again, my driveways tend to be that way, so. Oh well, anyway, that's your garage there. Very nice indeed. Here I'm just painting all the areas your sims can't go a nice solid black color because that way it just looks very clean. Um, and like, you know, areas your sims can't go are blacked out, which is the way it should be. Uh, and right here I'm just putting in, um, I was fixing the roof naturally. Gotta, gotta adjust that roof. And um, here I'm going to do the master bedroom, which is very nice. The master bedroom uh, has nice wood flooring. It also has this very nice color scheme, which you'll see. Very blue, a lot of blue shades. Uh, I love the bed there. And it's just a very cool room. The shape of the room is really interesting with the um, kind of semi turret going on. You see, you have those, uh, it's kind of a hex, oh, is that a hexagon? Yeah. Kind of hexagon, octagonal. It's octagonal, not hexagonal. You know, a, a, a part of an octagon there with the, you know, seating, and there's also a nice mirror on the wall. It's, it's all very classy. I do like it a lot. I think it turned out pretty well. Also, that chair turned pink for some reason. That's definitely not the color I'm going for. Going for white. Anyway, I'm also putting in a coffee table. Looking for the right coffee table. Oh, put in a, tr a, a um, erm, whatever that thing is. A, um, erm, um, erm, uh, er, uh, um, 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 trunk. On the tip of my tongue. There it is. It's a trunk. The end of the bed there. Yep. <laughs> Very exciting. Anyway, a nice rugs as well. You know, uh, kind of bring a bit of darkness in the room so it's not all too bright. Adds a bit of contrast, you know. And I'm um, also going to put in some more curtains. Well, actually some curtains because there are none currently. Got to get those blue curtains in just to match the room. I, I really like this room. I, I mean, it's very nice. It's very relaxing, I think. So it kind of looks nice. There you go. And uh, I'm going to put in a bit of a Japanese looking fan fans on the walls there. Uh, or Chinese. Those Chinese. Asian looking fans. Um, I don't know, like the those fans, are they used in Japan or China or both? I feel like it's Japan. But it could be both. I think it's both. Anyway, or Thailand too. I think it's like a bit just a, I could be wrong, but I think it's just I think I think I think those came with World Adventures. So if the Sims team is right, then I guess China. Anyway, um putting in some uh, lights here for the closet. I love doing these built-in looking closets that have like the sliding glass door and like the nice f um, um, clothes in there like on the hangers. Looks very nice. And also putting in the bathroom here. This is the master bathroom. Not over the top super fancy, but it looks pretty nice. So you can see here uh, getting in the counters and uh, just one sink, but that's okay and a kind of black and white color scheme, which looks good, but the blue, I think it, it all goes together pretty nicely. Uh, you have a tub shower combination, not sure if it's usable though, because it's by the door. Who knows, The Sims 3 can be kind of finicky sometimes. Um, yeah, so that's the master suite. Very exciting. Uh, I think it's almost done. Actually, I'm not done the master bathroom yet. I keep calling it too soon. I keep calling these bathrooms done before they're done. You know, just gotta wait a minute here. Do 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 creative style is lagging as it usually does ba -da 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 -da. getting in those details yay <laughs> so moving on now to the guest bedroom which is a nice room um it's trying to suppress a cough there that's why i sound bizarre um yeah it's kind of a green color scheme in here so you have the green bed and kind of a weird color wall but that's all right and you know getting in the nightstands and Put in all the details and thingamagummies and and stuff, you know. Got to have those in here, of course. And holy moly, look at that. We're at 40 minutes. Almost 40 minutes. 39 minutes. Jeepers, that went by quick, didn't it? Time flies when you're suppressing coughs, you know. Um, so putting in, uh, you know, just plenty of curtains. And just like a, a curtain behind the bed, because hey, why not? And some mirrors and... Nice armchair, very snazzy, very snazzy indeed. Okay, I don't know, I don't know why I'm focusing on the snazziness of that old-fashioned looking armchair. Gotta get in a mirror too. Snazzy mirror. And true a rug. A plaid rug, no less. Gotta have that plaid, look at that. Mm, wonderful. And a old-fashioned painting of a man. 
uh, who knows who he is, just, just a man. And also a plant, oh, oh, three plants, of course. Gotta, gotta get plenty of plants in. And some more plants on the wall. Beautiful, what a magnificent bedroom. It's just fabulous, isn't it? Hope you agree. Anyway, anyway there's your bedroom, your guest bedroom. Now we're gonna move on to the uh, boys' room. Uh, well, I'm gonna call it the boys' room, but I'm sure some of you will freak out over that. Uh, this is the boys, I'm calling it that because it's blue. So if there's girl sims who like blue, by all means they can take this room and it can be a girl's room, whatever. Um, this is the seafarer's room as it is uh, because it has the very nautical theme. You have the boat bed, which I've never used that bed, but it's a boat bed. It's a bed that looks like a boat. I also have the uh, nautical themed bedspread. It has the skull and crossbones on it. Anchors, other things. There's like a sea dragon on there. I don't know. A sea reptilian. Who knows? Anyway, I also got a lamp in here as well. It's actually quite cool looking bed. It goes very well in a beach house. And I love the shark beanie chair. It's very nice. And you got the bookshelf. It's a very small room. The, the other kids room is even smaller, but whatever. I uh, got some uh, posters on the walls. Gonna get plenty of posters in here. Also, I discovered this thing with the swordfish has multiple pins. Uh, multiple things. I'm so excited about that. Did not know that was a thing. I've only had this game a very long time. Did not know that had multiple color options. <laughs> or <coughs> multiple painting options. Excuse me. Anyhow, putting in uh, some stuff. Putting in. I feel like I'm gonna get some comments of people saying, why did you record a video if you're gonna cough? And I'm sorry, I didn't know I was gonna cough until I started recording, and so please don't complain. You know, I'm sorry, I do apologize. I try to make everything I make the best it can possibly be. And I know a coughing is not pleasant, but I'm trying. Anyhow, this is the, the what I'm calling the girl's bedroom because unless there's a guy who really, really likes pink, it's probably gonna be a girl's room. Um, you have a four-poster bed. There's also a very interesting rug going on on the floor, which you'll see. Uh, it's just a giant combination of rugs, basically, which you'll see on the floor fairly shortly. Once I get in these curtains here, gotta get those in. Gotta get in uh, another poster in the other, a couple more posters in the other room, and some posters in here, of course. So gotta put all those in. You got uh, various things on the walls. I got a cat board made out of wood and also um, just just a bunch of just a bunch of stuff you know I uh, gotta gotta make sure it looks nice that's another cat what's with the cats a lot of cats in this room I only just realized that now hmm anyway there's also a rocking chair which is nice I guess and I'm also gonna put in a very lovely rug which is coming in soon I'm deliberating on whether to do it or not can't decide no I'm not I just haven't uh, decided on I haven't Look, there it is. Yeah, so it fills up the entire floor, but it looks kind of cool, so I decided to keep it. Anyway, there's the, that was not very exciting, was it? I built that rug up way too much. Like, I made it way too sound, way too, I made it sound way more exciting than it actually was. Anyway, this is the final room in the house, finally. We are now 43 minutes in, five more minutes left. There are screenshots coming up after this, which you should definitely stick around for, because if you've watched this far into the video, you shouldn't stop now. You need to, you need to finish what you started. So there will be um, screenshots coming up, which look very nice. If I do say so myself, I have taken them uh, already. Already, you know, it's all done. The whole video is done. I just need the voiceover. And, oh, what a voiceover this one is. Anyway, putting in the, 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 uh, you know, the lovely wood paneling. I love that wood paneling. It looks very nice, very detailed. Also putting in the desk, of course. Gotta get the desk in, it's a study. It looks quite nice. It's, it's a pretty simple room, but I like it. You know, it, it does a good job topping off, capping off the house at the very top. So, putting in some bookshelves, of course. It's kind of running down that wall. Uh, it's, it, it, <laughs> I don't know how you'd get into this room. Like, there's just like a little hole in the floor for the ladder, and like, I don't know how they got that couch in there, but that's, that's, that, and that desk and the bookshelves. That's hard work to get that stuff up there, but someone did it, I guess. So, gotta put all those uh, bits of artwork and bits of details in here. It's actually pretty spacious. You can see there's actually quite a lot of room in here. There's also an art easel and a chess table, so. Your sims can read uh, books for skills. They can get the logic skill from the chess table. They can get the art skill 
from the easel and this is a computer up here as well so this is also very much a skill building room for your sims as well uh, which is what studies tend to be uh, anyway uh, so yeah anyway we're going to finish up the last bathroom i hope you enjoyed this video if you did uh, I greatly appreciate it if you check out my channel and consider subscribing and following me on Twitter and Instagram, which I've already mentioned a few times. Links are in the description below. Also, a download link is in the description below as well. And uh, I'm glad that you've, well, if you're watching and you haven't skipped ahead, congratulations because you're one of the very few people who actually watch my videos. And um, if you've been able to put up with my coughing today, um, I salute you because that is very impressive. Anyhow, putting in um, the final details to this bathroom here. Got to get in the uh, towels and stuff, uh, and some lighting, of course, just make it look very nice. I probably will do some last-minute landscape lighting, maybe. I don't know. There's definitely a bit more left uh, before I do move on to screenshots, but not much at all. You know, just final few details here. Um, I'm probably not. I don't know when the ending is, so it'll be a surprise for me too. Um, but I, I sense it coming. It's very near. The end is near for this building video. Um, and yeah, it's putting in final touches here. Hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, you know, that's what I strive for. And yeah, just, just you know, put in those little details here. And uh, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Have a great day.